It was a beautiful day on Lake Wanasink Lake. Fishermen were fishing, herpetologists were herpetologing, and monkeys were monkeying. It's a boomerang. You throw it and it comes back to you. Well, it's supposed to come back. of course. Huh? Maybe it rolled here. Poor little fella. How do you know it's a boy egg? I think it's a girl egg. And I'm gonna name her Tiffany. Still, it's a bad spot for an egg. Eggs are great for some things. The shell lets in air and moisture and keeps out dirt. That's good. But because they're so thin, they let in cold and heat too. That's bad. Oh. That's why birds sit on them, so the egg is always the right temperature. An egg without a nest might not hatch. George had to get the egg back to its nest before it was too late. Wait! Eggs can break like that. Plus, you shouldn't slosh them around. We have to find her mommy so she can come and sit on Tiffany. <laughs> Good idea! <gasps> My paper out! Oh, I'll come help as soon as I'm done. It's up to us, George. How about I stay here and protect Tiffany while you find the mommy? <laughs> oh, George still looking for the mommy? Yeah. Why couldn't George find the nest? His drawing was the right size, the right color, but wait, it wasn't the right shape. The other eggs were oval, but his egg was round. <laughs> uh, they all must have hatched. No, oh, oh, hi, George. <laughs> the man was looking for eggs, too. Oh, oh, oh. Let's face it, George is never going to find the mommy. We'll just have to move the egg. But Tiffany could get sloshed. Well, it's better than getting squished. Ah! Hey! Ah! <laughs> George? <laughs> what do you know? A late bloomer. <gasps> Chilidra serpentina. A turtle. Why didn't I think of that? Turtles bury their eggs in sand near water. Maybe this one got uncovered when the other eggs hatched. <laughs> I think Tiffany wants to go swim. As you can see, all kinds of animals lay eggs. Amphibians, reptiles, monotremes. Don't forget dinosaurs! <laughs> Maybe George would find one of those eggs next year. Friday afternoon, a perfect time for a trip. <laughs> Bottles and newspapers went to the basement. 
but some things had to be taken to the recycling center. <laughs> hey, looks like you could use a hand. Or maybe another foot. <laughs> I'm guessing you're going the same way I am. I have to pick up a package for Betsy. The recycling center's right next door. Stick it all in Betsy's wagon. I'll give you a lift. <laughs> George, are you okay? <laughs> the wheel! I'll get it! Boy, rolled a long way. I bet you could get it to roll from here to the other end of the park if you wanted. Might even set some sort of wheel rolling record. Say, what do you think? For the record? <laughs> it's really going, it's, it's... Hurry! After it! Oh, where could it be? <laughs> oh my gosh! The package place will be closing soon! Come on, we'll find the wheel later! Hey, we're here! With time to spare! Our problems are over! Oh, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> Good idea, George. Let's take your stuff to the recycling center. Then we'll have room in the wagon. What are you doing, George? <laughs> that won't work. Because it's from a baby carriage. It's for babies. I got something better. <laughs> See? Now this block will hold this corner up. You just pull the wagon, and I'll just push this block of wood along with my foot. <laughs> you tried one of those, remember? See, there's three left. George, that's it! There! Now they're all the same size. Hey, George, did you help Steve go get my wagon? Look, I can explain everything. See, I had this crazy idea. I thought if... Uh, wait, we didn't go get your wagon. We brought the wagon with us to get your package. But that's what's in the package. See? Aunt Margaret got me a new wagon since the wheels on my old one kept popping off. Uh, well, what's the matter? <laughs> Looks great. George, I'm so grateful to you for helping Steve. I want you to have my old one. <gasps> <laughs> Too bad we never found the fourth wheel. Those baby carriage wheels won't hold up long. Ice cream, anybody? Oh, sure. <laughs> I wonder what happened to that other wheel. Oh well, some things are just a mystery. Ta-da! George wondered who were these incredible fruit balancers? Zucchinis! <laughs> Piscetti! Giorgio, these are my friends, the famous zucchinis. 
We can buy to order food for our rehearsal. Our show is tonight. But now, all he wanted was to be an amazing balancing zucchini. Want to deliver this to the zucchinis for me? <laughs> Aha. Maybe you like to see them again because you want to be a zucchini, eh? Uh huh. Ah. which gives us the strength to perform our amazing feats! <laughs> I think he wants to join us. <laughs> it's not that easy. It takes lots of practice to do things like us. Balance requires total control. <gasps> uh, 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 I never sneeze unless, uh, yeah? a cat! Yeah. Uh, uh. Leo's allergic to cat hair, and sneezing is very bad for his balance. It would wreck our show! George was proud to be a starter zucchini. He gave out every flyer. And that night, everyone he knew came to the show. Everyone. Gnocchi just wanted to watch. She found a quiet place where she couldn't possibly bother anyone. Okay, just relax, Chef. We'll do everything. This is like a dream come true. Gnocchi ran to Chef Biscetti whenever she saw him. So why should now be any different? Is that a, uh, uh... Oh, it's Gnocchi. Leo, don't sneeze. I, I can't, can't, can't help it. <laughs> Gnocchi, go with your show. <laughs> this was just like that mop. So George shifted his hands. George was all day, practicing to be in the show. <gasps> we made it! <laughs> After a sneeze break, the show went on and was a great success. And when it was over, because of their great balance, we voted to make George and Chef Piscetti official zucchinis. Oh! <laughs> and you're welcome to practice with us anytime. So that was all real? Oh, I'm glad I didn't know. I, I would have worried. Ah, uh, nothing to worry about. George is a natural. <laughs> <laughs> But maybe he should stick to the high wire. On their way home from the circus, the monkey with the yellow balloon and the man with the yellow hat noticed that Professor Wiseman's light was still on. Don't tell me you're still working, Professor. Of course, it's only nine o'clock. What's this? A foot race? Mm-hmm. We're trying to raise money for an expedition to the lost city of Omam. Great cause. I'll sign up for that. Hey, you want to help me train, George? 
Great. What about you, Professor? Are you going to run? Me? Oh, I can't run. I've got way too much work. Poor Professor Wiseman. She doesn't know what she's missing. <laughs> the next day, George couldn't wait to start training. <laughs> hey! Well, wait up! <laughs> This was strange. The professor who said she couldn't run was running. <gasps> oh, terrible, absolute disaster. What, did the T-Rex collapse? <sighs> oh, worse, anonymous donors. They won't contribute to the expedition unless I run the race. Oh, but that's great. Races are a lot of fun. Can you help me train? I don't know a thing about running. No problem. Let's meet in the park at lunchtime tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait. No, Charky, look out! Oh, oh boy. What? He sprained his ankle? How can I train for the race without him? You want to be my personal trainer? <laughs> okay. Well, let's get running. <sighs> oh, is this a Ferris wheel? <laughs> okay. I've never been on one of these before. <laughs> What an amazing view! Hey, look! There's the museum! Ooh. I can see my window! It looks so small from here! <laughs> the professor had so much fun on the Ferris wheel that George took her to all his favorite places. <laughs> The day the professor outran him, George knew she was ready for the race. The race was on. The professor seemed to be doing everything right. She ran at a steady pace. And there she was drinking water. So far, so good. I thought it'd be fun if my personal trainer finished the race with me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I found out who those anonymous okay. donors were. Yeah. Apparently, they thought I needed to work a little less and have fun a little more. That's right, because all work and no play is a crummy way to spend your day. <laughs> <laughs> to thank you for helping me learn that lesson, I want you to have my medal. Oh. <laughs> Are you closed? Is there some holiday I forgot about? Ask the chef. What happened? Oh. Please, please, just a taste. A tiny little taste? <laughs> please? <laughs> oh. <sighs> Gnocchi approves all my recipes. 
But for the past few days, she likes nothing. I cannot serve unapproved food to my customers. Gnocchi lives on Italian food? Of course not. She merely gives approval. One lick, good. Two licks, excellent. Three licks, magnifico. <laughs> Oh, my cooking is worse than cat food. <laughs> well, it sure doesn't smell worse. Yuck. Huh. Mmm. Mmm. And it certainly doesn't taste worse. Not that I've ever tasted cat food. You're just being nice. If Gnocchi won't eat my food, there's no point in serving today. Oh. Flower delivery. Oh, it's a nice selection today. Uh, just to put him down, Hector. Thank you. Okie dokie. No, no, no. No chewing under the flowers today. We just started using a florist. Gnocchi thinks the flowers are snacks for her. You might as well let her eat flowers. She won't eat my food. Oh. I will talk to Chef. This is what comes of letting a cat make cooking decisions. George wondered why Gnocchi wouldn't eat the chef's cooking when it was clearly delicious. Oh. Maybe tomorrow would be better. May as well not let them go to waste. If Gnocchi's eating cat food, she's not sick. What could it be? Uh, huh? ah. What will we do without ravioli? Uh-oh. I think I'm allergic to something in here. Yeah, I, I have an allergy. It's when your body overreacts to something like food or a, a, a plant or flowers. Some types of flowers can make some people sneeze and cough. But for the past few days, she likes nothing. No, no, no. No chewing under the flowers today. George, what are you doing in here? What are you... George, I think he's allergic. You shouldn't... <gasps> One lick, good. Two licks, excellent. Three licks, magnifico! This will be our special tonight. It's Gnocchi approved! <laughs> if not for George, we would never have known that Gnocchi was allergic to those flowers. Giorgio, you have saved the restaurant and my reputation. I'll give you a free pizza. Ah! <laughs>